even though the land is over and Easter season is almost over, we still do the goodness project. So welcome in side number three. And today it will be all about anger. You know, I hear so many times that the anger is a bad feeling, is a negative emotion. I not necessarily agree with that. Um, I do believe, quite strongly believe that God gave us all the feelings and all the emotions to um, to serve us somehow, with its purposes, with its reasons. So um, I don't think there are really bad emotions. We just need to learn how to sometimes express. So today it's all about the anger. And I would like to challenge you to shift your focus today, to shift your um, awareness, your mindset. And think about anger as a tool. Because when you get angry, there is a little bit information to you that there is something not right quite here. So when you get angry or your partner or your children, usually there is something underlying emotion underneath that it's not what you see on the surface there is something beneath that and we need to learn what's what's that what's that usually we react to what we see and what we see usually is not what it is so next time when you get angry or your partner or your child respect that feeling Allow yourself to feel angry and then learn to control it, dig a little bit deeper what's underneath and then by reason try to find a, a solution. All life we learn, we learn, we may express anger in a more positive way or sometimes we do have a tendency to express it in a more negative way which will lead us to a sin. But we need to learn for our holistic health, holistic well-being, to express the emotion that comes up in us. Uh, unexpressed anger and repressed anger, usually from the childhood, when we lead a life in that way that we learn to repress and not express, chuck it somewhere, you know, within our body, it may lead to so much suffering in our life. And even in the Bible, it says, Paul, in letter to Ephesians, let me have a look. He, um, he says exactly, be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and do not, and do not make room for the devil. So offer up your anger, offer up your suffering. Speak up to someone if you may need, um, call to your friend, find some support. Reach out to life coach, to a counselor. Sometimes we need a little bit of help of someone, of a professionalist usually, to help us manage, deal, express, recognize and live with our emotions in a healthy way. And do not think about anger as a bad feeling as a negative feeling. As I said, anger is a tool, is a very important tool for you to know that there is something not right happening. And we can use it as a very important force to do good, to do right, to do justice. So it's not a comfortable feeling, but it can be used as a good thing and we learn. But please remember, next time when you get angry, and you will lose it, let's say. Do not um, blame yourself. Just take a breath, respect the feeling, allow yourself to feel what you feel. Um, dig a little bit deeper, as I said. Find an underlying issue, find an underlying emotion. If you cannot do it by yourself, as I said, reach out. I'm also here to help. I'm also healed, healed here here to help you healing if you need and um, I thought it will be really really connected to the anger topic today from today's gospel it's amazing amazing verse from John chapter 14 verse 27 to 28 it is related to anger and also 
It actually is related, I feel it, to what's happening in today's world. All this uh, frustration that you may feel, all this uncertainty, anxiety, or maybe really even anger towards uh, what we can do or what we cannot do. So let me read something to you and I'm going to leave you with that. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your heart be troubled or afraid. Remember, anger is the emotion that we need to learn how to express it in a good way. Thank you and I hope it was uh, inspiring and uh, of a value to you. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye!